always a good thing to advance in the tournament, but uh, at this point in the hardcore season, would it almost be preferable to get to play out the full match? Um, oh, look, you never wish anything bad on your opponent, but, um, yeah, I mean, look, it's not... That's why we play tournaments is to actually play the matches, but, um, I mean, it, it seemed like straight away something wasn't right with her uh, when she hit that serve, and... Um, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes, but I'm, I mean, I'm certainly not going to complain about being in the next round and having an easy day, but yeah, sometimes it's, you, like I said, you play to play the matches, but if you're going to advance and get to play again tomorrow, then I'm not going to complain. Sam, a lot of players have talked this week about how difficult it is to transition surface-wise, especially like the first week when mm -hmm. you make a big surface change. You obviously won a title on clay, now you're on the hard courts. Did you expect to transition so well? so quickly or are you still working things out as you've gone from um, clay to hard? To be honest, probably a little bit surprised. I only started hitting on hard court last Thursday and had a couple of hits before coming here and um, didn't really feel ready to play again in a lot of ways. But um, I guess I've been able to adjust quite quick and yeah, like I said the other day, it's not like my game has to, I have to revolutionise what I'm doing to play on the clay to the hard court. It's pretty much the same thing, but it's, I mean, your footwork and all that side of the sport, it's obviously very different. But, um, yeah, so far I've been able to adjust really well, which is pleasing that it's been a, a quick turnaround, but I've been able to do it, do it well. Um, you're back together with David Taylor after a, a few months away, and I'm just wondering how you seem to be... I don't know, you seem happier and your results are very good. Mm -hmm. I think you've won 10 matches in a row now. And uh, how does that, how has that affected you getting back together with him and how has it settled you on court, off court? Um, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess you, it's easy to be happier when you're winning more. So it kind of, everything kind of goes hand in hand. But um, yeah, I mean, we started, Madrid was our first tournament back together and um I oh, know it seems like it's just it, it was an easy transition right from the first week that we had practicing before Madrid um, it was like you know last week we were on court I think we both just understand each other and I know what he thinks my game's capable of and what I can do and I know what you know I trust and believe in what he's telling me to make that all happen so um, I think when you've got that I think trust is a big thing in the coaching relationship once you've got that then it's easy to build on results and even if you're not having great results you still you know follow the path of what you think is going to make you successful and I think that's something that we've obviously had lots of highs and lows throughout the time that we spent together but um, that's always kind of been there so it's easy to get back on the on the court again the next day after a hard loss and be like no no that's what I'm doing right I need to keep working on that and that's eventually going to start working and um, I guess I've proven that to myself enough times to keep believing in it. Sam, um, on, on the, uh, when you start the hard court season like this and then leading up to the US Open, is there a specific or a certain uh, game plan that you start the hard court season with and as the season advances you'd like to develop and solidify that game? Or do you go into a week like this with a certain game plan and maybe it could be different by the time US Open comes or a modified version of it? Um, no, I mean, it's more who you're playing and what, uh, you know, what you need to do against each opponent. But, um, I mean, I've, I think everybody, including myself, we've all got the way that we like to play and that you've got that, um, like, baseline of what your game is and you try and make that happen every day. And uh, obviously against some opponents that's easier to do sometimes it's harder and sometimes you got to work harder to do it or depending how you feel as well so um, I think early on especially these kind of weeks um, you got to be maybe I mean, like I said before I came into this event not necessarily expecting um, a whole lot so you got to be a bit kind to yourself sometimes and just let things happen but I've been able to play well and I think this is certainly um, the kind of tennis that I know I can build on and hopefully be able to play better and better as the weeks progress. Can you just um, tell me what happened during the match? Like what, I, I know that she has an abdominal strain, mm -hmm. but when did it happen? And well, uh, to be honest, I don't know. She hit 30, three love, 30 all. She hit the serve in and I hit the return. She didn't even move for it and then called the trainer straight away. So I don't know whether there was something already there or um, it just happened on that serve, but she called the trainer, served one more ball and that was it. So it was in the fourth game that it happened, yep. like right at the end? Yeah. Okay. 